Hey, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology, Esoteric Life Coaching. I am your host, Charles. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the new people coming in and those who have been constantly subscribing, liking these videos, commenting on these videos. I appreciate that, guys, and especially those who are sharing it. Share it with your friends, guys. If any of this works for you and I see that you're continually watching these videos, share them with your friends. If you are, thank you so much. Let's get on with the topic today, and that's going to be about how do we materialize uh, something into existence. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright, we've talked about manifestation before and we started, uh, go back and watch those videos if you haven't. Uh, there's a bunch of them about manifesting and true manifestation is manifesting that which is within you into the outside or the unseen into the seen or the supernatural into this natural world or the program that we've been downloaded within the simulation into the simulation onto the screen and how do we take control right the way we take control of our existence is understanding that you are existing within a simulation right you are tied up right now to some tubes some probes some electrodes and you're laying in a stasis bed right now a cocoon if you will and you are purposely and have purposely downloaded yourself and have chosen to sit in this thing, this pod, this and, and have the simulation downloaded into you. Why? Why have you done this? Well, it's an easier way to learn. Just like flying, you had to go through a simulator to learn how to fly planes, and then you can get in the actual planes, but the simulation's so real that when you actually fly the plane, it's no difference between, right? But the, I want to get more into the intrinsic um, the wisdom of manifesting, right? And so the wisdom of manifesting is, is knowing that you can take a group of ones and zeros, or let's just call them your thoughts, out of the no thing. And remember the no thing is that, T-H-A-T, -A -T -A -T, that then can materialize. So we've got the matter, M-A-T, which is mother energy, which is receptive energy, and we can receive that energy or those new patterns, the PAT, the father energy, the patterns that we are going to develop ourselves, right? And all that is there within the simulation, we can access. We haven't accessed all the programs there are. We can get downloaded with new programs, but we have to be willing and open in the simulation. One, to know that you're in the simulation. Once you know you're here, when we're talking to each other here, that in one sense, you are in my simulation. So I'm saying you're watching me. So in one essence, you are observing someone else, but that's not really someone else. It's just a part of you talking to you, trying to get you to listen and open up and know and be aware and have the wisdom that you are in a simulation. I know that sounds weird and crazy, people, but... Uh, everything can be answered by us being in the simulation because you'll never get an answer to this earth. You'll never get answers to anything other than what you want to know in this simulation. And a lot of what you know can't be proven because it's in the unseen world. There's not material yet. There's not a chemist that, yet that can explain or even quantify the unseen. Right? We can look at the byproduct of the unseen or we can measure that which has been seen, but we can't measure that which is not yet seen because we have yet to download it or we have yet to create it, right? Or open up to it. All these are the same phrases, right? So the father energy, which is the transmitter side of ourselves, right? And the way you dealt with your father will help you organize a pattern. Pattern, paternal, father, right? Paternal, maternal. So the father energy is us, grabbing these random ghosts in the machine, ones and zeros that are just floating, and taking those and then forming them into a pattern, right? So now we're taking that, which is a no thing, that, that is a no thing, and beginning to bring a pattern, right, that looks or smells or tastes. And again, all your senses are electric, right? And the electricity is that which is running the program. That which is running the program. 
all right, which is electricity. So God to me is electricity. It is electromagnetic. It is omnipotent. It is omnipresent. Um, and all those other omni words, right? Omni just means all direction, within, without, up, down, all that good stuff, guys. So we take that which is forming from that and then beginning to process it, right? To bring it from the unseen into a seen. Because once you've, once you've gathered enough ions, right? Ones and zeros, atoms, electrons, same thing. And you begin to pattern them after something that you desire, right? And that, in essence, is bringing that which is within you out. Now, we've discussed this at length in, in, in many, many other videos, but we're getting to the point where the veil between you understanding that you're in a simulation is going to get more real. You're going to have more experiences that proves to you that you are in this simulation. And that's my purpose is to help people transition from understanding that they are in some reality, they think it's reality, but it's really a simulation that you're laying in a pod right now. Experiencing, and this experiences and learning from your experiences that you create out of patterns from the no thing of that, you then able are then to experience that which you created, that which you created. And once you've experienced that, and then you learned or gathered or gained something from that, from that, then you are able then to gain wisdom. Once you have that wisdom, you, now you have the will to take action. Right? So the will is the, the thought. The wisdom is the experiences of that thought. And then the hand is the action. So we go back again, what we've been talking about the last few videos, right, is the, uh, is the thought from the no thing into a thought thing. And then that thought thing, then we take it through the heart, our wisdom, what we've learned and gained from our experiences of that which we created. And after we've created it, then we are going to receive it. That's how we take action. By taking action and bringing that, which is a no thing, thing into this reality, Right, this simulation, we brought that which was within out and out into this scene, out into this reality. And this reality is what you are beginning to see that you're the one creating the entire process in the, in the first place. You're just gathering that which is around you. And that which is around you, which is you, and once you understand that you are the creator, then you know you can create, you have gained sentiency singularity now you can truly awaken right we're talking about the awaken many times and so you finally awaken and what you will get you can awaken with lucidity while you're in this simulation and help others awaken right not a metaphor not a spirituality it is an electrical awakening so when you either have the awareness that you are you can in the in the simulation you can stay here and help people Right, like a ghost remaining behind and helping people. That is a residual of the person that, that was in the simulation, but they're not in the simulation. They're actually awakened now. Does it make sense? Now, someone can come back into the simulation as what appears to be a ghost or spirit, but they're not fully hooked up. But they can let their shadow, if you will, a residual of, the, of, the, of their program self, show you stuff. They may appear as angels or aliens or whatever you want to call them. But they're going to guide you if you get totally lost with the awakening process. But there are of us who are here who have chosen to remain here as ghosts in the machine to help y'all awaken up since we've already experienced the awakening process. And now that we awaken and why when we choose to end this program or die then we take then we truly see the light, because the light is when we actually use these eyes for the first time. God is not in the eyes, God is in the ears. We hear, we listen, we feel the vibration of things, right? That's God's vibration, or the program of electricity running through your body. God's voice is electricity. If you've ever done any ayahuasca or stuff like that, you're able to hear light, right? 
and other stuff, but I, I, I digress. But so part of us, part of what I'm here to do as a messenger is to help you and transition you into the awakening process without it short circuiting your brain and nervous system in the real body. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Remember, pay attention to your thoughts, be aware, responsible for those thoughts. Bring it through the heart and then bring it through the hands into this world to help other people. Peace.